Hi, I'm Anthony, and today I'm working on my trailer. I don't know if you guys have this issue or not where sometimes your back end will drag or uh, get hung up on something and it busts this out. I've already beat this back one time, so I'm going to beat it back and I'm going to put some rollers underneath there to take care of that problem. Just had a job that I went out to that the driveway was so steep I couldn't there was no way I was going to get this trailer up in there, but it would have saved me a lot of steps. So I'm hoping that these little rollers here on the back will take care of some of that so that I could, you know, get it up on the concrete slowly and then just push it on up the hill and then top out. So let's see what it looks like. I'm going to beat this back and then I'll show you the rollers. So the moral of the story is put these rollers on before you need them. If not, you'll have you busted up corners like this and it's almost impossible to fix them without. I don't know how I could do it. I got something in the way on the inside. I can't really hit on there. Um, really, it's probably have to cut this whole thing out and weld a new piece in and put a new piece of trim on here. It's just, it just tears everything up generally. So. I'm tired of hitting in the back, dragging. I, every now and then I think I hit uh, like pulling out of a gas station or something like that and you hit it on the side and it'll hit coming out of the gutter. I don't know if that's where I'm dragging. I know on the last job, one of the last jobs I went into, uh, this dug into the ground pretty good. So <clears throat> the rollers probably wouldn't help that much with that, um, with soft ground but it definitely will on concrete. So what I bought was uh, Ultra Steel Mini Rollers. They're one and a half by two and a half inches. And I just got them on Amazon. I paid around $25 a piece for them. I was gonna go with the bigger one and they were like $50 a piece. And I was like, well, I think they're gonna be too tall because I didn't want to get them too far down because my steel beam across the length of the trailer is is um, is right here. So here's what it is. <clears throat> it is a weld on. <clears throat> Just uses a uses a lock nut. This one here does not have a zerk fitting to put grease under here in here. So I'm just gonna have to keep them greased up. Periodically take them off, grease up the axle slash bolt. And I also may, because this is running on thread right there, I may go down to Tractor Supply and see if I can find with some, something that's the same thread or the same all the way across here smooth. And then I can always cut it off so that it's, uh, so that the wheel's not running on the thread. I may actually do that. So for right now, I'm going to take these off. <clears throat> it's just a solid steel wheel. And this is just a, I think it said it's quarter inch plate that they bent and put two holes in. So these will end up somewhere around in here. So that should protect the back end pretty good. All right, I gotta get these cleaned up. <clears throat> uh, hit it with the flap disc. Get this sanded off underneath here cleaned up so I can get this welded on. So as you can see right here, I have, I've got a, a drop off in my driveway right there. So I just backed it up over that so I had plenty of room to get underneath the back of the trailer. And I dropped the front end of the trailer down as far as it would go. So everything is sitting on the tires. The wheels are chalked. 
and makes it so it's safe for me to work under there. First of all, I have to say that I'm not a welder at all. Matter of fact, I just got my welder and uh, I'm, I mean, I can get it to stick, but that's about it. So if you have any welding tips, tricks, I've been watching a lot of videos and wanted to take a class, but they were full. And if you want to have any tips or tricks, uh, definitely shoot me a comment. If you're just going to critique it and say it sucks, I already know that, so it's all good. All right, so I just took this out of the box, so I'm going to clean this up. Let's clean this edge up with the sander. Just take the mill scale off, whatever else is on there, dirty. So what I'm doing is just taking my... magnet, putting it there, lining it up with the inside edge, with the inside edge of the frame here. That doesn't look too bad. May have a little bit of undercut. I got some porosity in there, but I'm learning. It's definitely not great, but I went all the way around on all four sides, this side here didn't quite line up, so I had to go high a little bit there. The first side didn't look quite as good. Not that this looks good, but it is what it is. So this will protect the back end of my trailer here. I'm gonna go grab some grade eight bolts that are long enough to make the full axle without Got the wheel riding on that thread. Took this bolt with me to tractor supply. Ran it into the half inch thread. Worked perfect. Now, if I put those on there together, those do not line up and this slides in here like that and this doesn't slide in at all so this must be a metric so the only way I could use this bolt is to get another nut ream that hole out a little bit and also ream the hole out of that. For right now, I'm going to use the original bolt and see what happens. All right, this needle here is just a, uh, it's got a fitting on like a Zerk fitting on the end of it. All right, this is not gonna fit in here, so I'm gonna go like so. Great more of a red and runny than red and tacky. I know this isn't the proper way to do it, but this is what I had handy. This is what I'm using. All right, that should be a lot better than 
dragging the tail end of my trailer on the ground. All right, so I think that concludes this project. That'll keep me from tearing up the tail end of my trailer again. So if you like this kind of video, click the thumbs up, click subscribe, you may get more, you may not. I'm not promising anything, I don't have a regular upload schedule. And as always, remember to make the day the best and impact those around you in a positive way. Thanks for watching. Is put these rollers on before you need them because if not you'll have it looking like this and without <clears throat> seriously oh that didn't work